All right, art students, welcome back to another episode of I Can Draw with Brian. So this is my final piece. Not final, like I'm never going to draw again, but this is the, the final product of my action pose that I did today. So as I'm stating, um, the first part is just going to be a speed drawing of me doing it. The second, when I finish it, then I show you guys how to do a quick um, explanation of how to do it and follow along if you choose. That way, if you want to learn how to draw it at the end, I'll show you. And if you just want to be amazed and awed, then you just see that right at the beginning. So, all right, let's get in on with this video. And I've got a couple more that I've got that I've done, actually. And I just have to get them edited and get it up. Because I know it's been a minute since I've got some videos up. And it's just that I have to do 50 things and I only have 49 minutes to do them. So, no excuses. Let's get to the video.
right, here we are at the end of the road. We are out of gas and we have to walk. So yeah, this is the this is the final product. I turned a hero into a villain, maybe. Depends on how much you do to his face, to scar his face up, then you have your villain. Well, why don't we have any good looking heroes? Or better not good looking heroes, bad looking heroes. I think we did and it was a western or something. I can't think of the guy's name. Western guy with a scarred up face. But you know, other than that. Um, plant man, what's the guy's name? I used to like him. The plant guy. Why don't you like him anymore? I don't know. Swamp Thing, Swamp Thing. I don't know. I, had, I liked Swamp Thing at one point in time. But yeah, anyway, getting off the subject. So I'm correcting and I can continue to keep on correcting until I always say you can either mess up or make it better. So let me go over some of the pointers, points, points that I did when, when drawing this. Get a piece of paper over here in case you guys want to draw this particular thing. So he could be shooting a blast. He could be holding guns, a uh, couple swords, anything, you know, it's just like a, you know, um, not a, I'm presenting it to you. I'm going to strike. If he's shooting something like blasting, then it's, I'm going to strike. But if he's holding like a couple swords, he wouldn't be have his hands crossed, you know, whatever. Yeah. So anyway, forget I'm even talking. So first thing you did, oval, of course, is going to be real quick. Oval. And because he's leaning down, you have your oval for your torso. And if you're straight up, if you've been over the class, then you know it's going to be straight across. But when you're leaning down, you lean that torso down, it's going to turn into that V. And it depends on how much you lean forward, that straight line will turn into that V. And then you can put your head in here, however, depending. You know, your chin can, can come just a little past this, but not too much past your, your, your collarbone. So throw my head in there. And that shows that he's leaning forward because you're seeing a lot of shoulders. And, of course, the delts come here. And when you lean so much, the delts are going to come past that. They're going to be, this is going to be the center line for the delts because the delts go way behind the back. So the more you lean, the more you're going to see the, the, those delts because this is shaped like this. This whole um, piece, shoulders, which are your traps, it's shaped like this and your delts come around it. And there's like three heads to the delt, but I just use this little center line to show and then how do I have the hands? And something like that, which I showed in the last video, if you're gonna do an arm, you have your delt, which is a circle, you have your bicep, tricep, which is an oval, and you have your form, I guess that's a form, which is just a triangle, really, and you cut it off to put your hand wherever you wanna put your hand at. Yeah, there's always my thumb, there's my thumb is like that. Yeah, so that's basically your arm, and you just kind of shape it up to be an arm, depending on, you know, where your bicep is and um, however this thing is shaped here. It goes down, Brian. It goes down. Yeah, right into the chest like that. Yeah, and you get some other arm. Yeah, so it's just these three shapes. So whenever you take, and if my little dummy was in arm reach, I would grab it. Whenever you take the arms and you put it forward like this pencil would represent this arm the more you turn it in the less you're going to see lengthwise so what I usually do is I put my hand wherever I want to put my hand like that like that if I want to put my hand up high the hand is flat chop my fingers off you have a square turn it over it's kind of like a little board so I'll just put this one up a little higher so you're going to have this forearm here and just like when you turn this it's like a, a cone, uh, the a cylinder. The more you turn it, the more you're going to see the opening and the more shorter it's going to become. So if I turn it in more and shorten it more, it's going to eventually be like this. Okay, and then you're going to put this, it's always going to be this cylinder, which is in the back of it. So you just don't put the tip right here. You put the tip inside. Don't No, no comments on that one. And then you have your... your uh, delts right there. So that's how you basically kind of foreshorten. How long have you been messed up? I don't know. See when my camera zoomed in like this much it it, uh, it likes to blur anytime I take my hand in and out and this is why I have the colors so it can 
focus on the color. So let's, let's see if I can put this back. I need a, maybe a brighter color, like a, I don't know, blue or, you got a blue, like a, I don't know, bright red or something so it can see. Or maybe I'll just pull back if it does it again. So hopefully you did see that. Hopefully you did see that. So as I say, you come back like this with this opening. This is going to be inside there. You're going to have this and then you're going to have the delt right there and it comes down into the chest, into the lat and here's your shoulder. So as I say, I put my arm first, then I put my, my, um, for my arm, my hand first, and I put my forearm, kind of, I'm kind of drawing through, and then your bicep, which is just that oval, which is behind that, is like right there, and you have this that comes down, and it goes into the chest, so yeah, once you, once you raise that up, this whole thing is going to raise up, unfortunately, his is not raised up, but this one, if you raise it up, it's going to, it's going to bring it up, which is going to cause that collarbone to go up, I'm doing a whole different drawing, but anyway, you're going to have this little narrow piece and then you can have this wide piece and usually what I do is like right here you see right here I did this straight line and then I go up like that so usually it's kind of like here's my hand I'll do this and then that right there because that's a muscle that comes down and you have these other muscles here and then you put your um, uh, bicep and then you put your thing there so yeah chest chest same thing here because my hand is here so I get a little straight line and then I'll put a circle. So it's kind of like this, this, and this, like that. And then it's going to be my hand connected to there for, for shortening. And then the um, bicep, tricep, and of course, again, there is the delt. So what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? This, this, and, you know, um, I say it depends on how much is aimed at you. If it's aimed, you know, straight at you, you, don't, you won't see, you won't see all of that. Yeah. Uh, focus and I messed up my camera and then of course the bicep bicep yeah bicep tricep is just like right there and then that's gonna come down into the chest and then of course you got your fingers however you do your fingers however you do your thumb like that so when your when your arms are up your chest won't be down like this it just won't be down like it comes in to accommodate this It goes in and then your arm comes out from there versus like this and then your arm comes out comes down and then that chest is going to stay uh, relaxed so basically it's just pulling it's just pulling it's just like you pull claw you know it's going to get tighter so that's what you do here when that arm comes down when that chest comes down what i don't know so you have your ribs and because it's leaning forward more you give more of the, the rib cage because you know the rib cage is, is this is the rib cage is shaped like that. And this pencil needs sharpening. So when you lean that forward, can you see that? Yeah. Am I recording? Yes. When you <laughs> lean that forward, you're going to get, if I look at it from the top, it's going to kind of like look like this and say like this is my hole for the neck. But if I start leaning it back a little bit more, you'll start to see this. You'll start to see the, the this little cutout right here. So the more you lean it, with this one I'll lean it up, I'm leaning it up, and of course the hole is gonna go further back. So the more you lean it up, the more you're gonna see this. And the hole is gonna go back even more for the neck until you get this, okay? So you, you remember, that's just this whole thing is just leaning forward. And when you do that, when you raise your arms up, you're gonna see that lat, you're gonna see those lats. Your stomach, is going to be the same way instead of like here long ways not long ways but you see the whole thing it's like you're stacking and i like to use examples that you can kind of understand you're stacking stuff on top of each other let's just say stacking bricks on top of each other and as you lean forward those bricks and i don't want to get in the room of my paper those bricks are going to it's like a board you're going to get shorter and it's going to go back and then the ones, this might be the one you see the most and you see less of that and you see less of that one. So, yeah. Same thing with this. Bring this down. Of course, you're going to have like that, like what I call the tuna can. And then you're going to have your hips, that upside down house. Now, what I had here was one leg down. This is the same thing as if you're standing up. Legs are, are simple. And this is the same thing. This is the oval. 
So a knee and then you have a triangle if you're doing somebody standing up, which would be a cool pose too, because he could be like, yeah, you know, but yeah, we're not doing that pose. And it's simple to take this pose and make it, what just happened? I need to stay at my monitor a little bit more or just keep my arm still. Um, it's simple to take this pose and then turn it into, you know, a thousand other poses. I did that with um, one of my YouTube, again, <laughs> I did that. Let me pull back. Let me pull this camera back. All right, maybe that's why. And this is why I don't do a lot of close um, shots like a lot of other videos because of this camera. One day I'm going to get a real camera and be a real professional. So as I was saying, I did that in a, one of my videos where I took one position and I changed the arms and changed the legs. And the torso basically stayed the same. The head stayed the same, but it's just you change your position when you change your arms and legs. So, but this one is down here. And then you're going to get this piece that's going to come behind the leg. Because the calf is like this, but you have this little ball. This is your, your and then this. If you think about it like that, and here's your foot. So if you think about that, you take this ball here, and then you, you have a little bit of this behind it. Let me do that in blue. You still with me, camera? You take this, bent the knee, so you have the ball here, and you have this behind it. And then you have the foot on that. And that's what you think about when you bend it. So because this is like this, should have got a, a, a fourth color. You'll see just a little bit of that sticking out, this ball sticking out right here. And then you won't see this, but you will see this part of the foot. So if I did that in ink, so we have this. So we're going to have this little ball like this, we have this little piece here, and then we're gonna have the foot attached to that. So if my leg is, I should really, really start getting, pulling more colors out. Uh, I have like a, I think I bought this thing from, from China. I don't know why I could've got a Bic. I bought this thing from China. So here's my leg. in green or the upper thigh in green and this is all you're going to see is this part right here this part that's left out and that's called drawing drawing through you draw through the whole thing if you can't imagine it and you just erase that part so and then this we have this we have the leg up and this is just an oval basically it's just an oval you have the crotch here and then the leg up the big oval right here and the same thing is like this if my leg is your leg is just an oval or a um, cylinder but if I take not cylinder oval but if I lift this oval up it's gonna look like this from the top now if I put a hole here a small hole here and I lifted it up it's gonna look like this now if I shifted that oval over a little bit it's gonna be like this and the hole is going to be here and you're going to see some of that side there if I did it the other way around if I shifted it over and the hole is going to be like there here you're going to see all this and then you just put the other part of the leg there depending on how far you want your leg over let me turn into teacher mode and grab my little guy here and then show you so we got one leg Got one leg bent like this. I think it'll be able to do it. And we have one leg up. Where are you at? Camera. So one leg down. So this turns into this oval. It comes up. And you see this just a round circle here. As I say, wherever that little hole is for the knee, you're going to put it. If I put it straight, it's going to look like that. If I move it over, you're going to see some of this inner thigh. If I move it over that way, you're going to see some of the outer thigh. So it's just, it's really simple. It's shapes. Nobody really teaches you this stuff in school. It's just drawing shapes. You have to master your shapes first, and then you are able to draw anything. So then I have my knee over here, which you're gonna have some inner thigh, and then you're gonna have my line from there, which is gonna be my shin bone, my um, inner calf, and then outer calf, like that. And then you put your foot however, like that. Really, really simple drawing. So, um, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Let me just do a quick, ugly, ugly, ugly ink on this thing. 
so that you guys can kind of see what I'm saying. And the neck has been covered up. And of course, I show the face. I always get that square chin. Wherever my eyes are here, these are measuring lines. I'd go right here to the chin, to the chin. Uh, of course, your ear, ear. Um, right here, you come up in for the um, temple. If you go straight up, your nose is supposed to fit in that line, but I'm not going to do that. So, of course, at this point here, this is where your mouth is going to go. Depends on if your mouth is open or closed. It can come past those two lines if you choose. Just above that is going to be your nose, and then your eyes are going to be on that line, top part and the bottom part across the line. There you go. So, we're going to have your shoulders. I don't know what that is. This is notification, your collarbone. You're going to have that little diamond shape. It's going to be this. It's going to be that right here. It comes down like this. Your hand, however you want to put your hand. And your other bicep, and it, it cuts off. This just kind of like shapes it right here. And you get your chest in. Other one, so this one I put up, so it's going to be a little higher. It's going to go up like this. You're going to scratch this, scratch that. So this is going to be there. So the arm is going to come all the way from up under this, if, it, if, you, if, if it's higher. And then you have this and this. And then you have your hand, your fingers, however. You're going to put your fingers like that. You're going to get some lat in, up in there. From here to here is where this serratus muscle is going to be. So basically uh, what I do is I do the rib cage here, here. And wherever this rib cage comes up, that's where your serratus muscle comes in. At, <clears throat> or those little ribs underneath. Then I'll go from this line here. Continue to curve around. That's going to be my first set of abs. Of course, abs go in. Then I'm going to kind of continue around here. It's going to be my second set. And then, of course, my third set, like that. And then you have your, um, the love handles, obliques, that go down here. And then you start your hips, come down here. Your buttocks is going to be here. You can, this, this is your leg. This is how your leg is, like this. So we already went over that one. So you're going to, when you bend your leg, you're going to have high up here. And it's going to go curve in, like that. And that's going to be this muscle right here and of course again I said your knee and depends on how much of the top thigh you want to see and the side of the thigh you want to see determines where your knee is going to go and then this 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 and then your foot how are you going to put your foot and if you want to see some heel just put a little bit of heel there on the side do this little triangle and do this little piece of heel right there and then work it all in and then that's going to be it for that um this drawing so what is this this is this is the batarang this is this is ghetto batman right here ghetto batman ghetto batman And all superheroes are, and have that angry look. It's just that's just how superheroes go. Get old Batman. I don't know what does bat how does that bat symbol look like. Get old Batman. And you got your, you put your belt and all that if you want to go and dress him in your, your Batman boots. I don't know how. Whatever. Yeah. So there you go. That's how you do this position. So uh, call it a day, and I will see you guys. In the next video, let me get this right because this is going to be my screenshot and I'll zoom in on it. All right, so throw some markers down here like I actually did something. Yeah, see, I don't know why people always throw their pencils and stuff down like, yeah, look, I did it with these pencils.